Ecological building means relationships, relationships between building and people, building and nature, and building and, and weather, climate. We were building a meeting hall and kitchen for the eco-village, which will serve as a demonstration building to the community. And during the construction, we were working with different community groups for them to learn about ecological building. We start with stone foundation. We have mud bricks for the walls. We have cob for other part of the wall, natural plasters throughout. We've built stove and oven with earth also. And uh, we're using clay tiles on the roof, also a locally sourced clay, locally produced, and all of it with skills that people have in the village. For window shutters, porch roof, and furniture, we use raffia, a natural resource widely used in traditional buildings in Bafut. We're collecting the rainwater from this building that will be fed into the ground for water storage, as well as a solar energy system for power supply. Oh, we are all women's builders. We bring out the talents that we have. The women of Allegenwi are our main group for teaching. How do you know? What they are very interested in continuing working with us in all kinds of ways. So we have been teaching them the building, the, they already know the block making, so we contracted them to make the blocks for the building. Later, they did practical work on plastering, which they had learned in a small scale on the eco hut. And in this case, they had an opportunity to really practice this on the big walls of the meeting hall. The women are gaining much pride, taking much pride in this work, and there are uh, interested uh, parties around who wish to have training for the stove building, and this is something that the women can do. They can help with the training, they can become trainers, and they can also produce materials for these stoves as a business. I learned to know how that the first ground makes um, a, 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 a build house for this. Mm -hmm. I have to build my own house. I'm staying in my husband's uh, compound. Okay. And I have to build mine up. No, I'm just thanking you for what that you have teach us mm. to learn more because we did not even have the idea. I'll do it the best. I'll do it. We come must, and see. I must do it. Why? The workshop we want to make a stove, an easy way for us to prepare food without consuming wood, and then help us to prepare two dishes at once. And what exactly is your job here today? To help to explain to my to my mothers here in dialect, those don't understand English. I will speak the dialect to them for them to understand well. Because there are most of them that don't understand pidgin or English. We also made an agreement with a technical school in Bafut called Kotec that we would come and hold a presentation at the school for as many students as they wanted to have in the room. And then we asked that they send us a group of students for a practical day in exchange to our building site. The group that was participating was a group that was on the highest level of their construction class. And they were really excited to learn something different. Talk about the young people in the rural areas. I think the major problem we have is education, sensitization of the young people. 
On the last day before the grand opening, last touches are being applied to the building. The community shows up to clean and set up the site for the festivities. And a ritual is held to clear bad energies from the participants and the building itself. In the name of the Republic of Cameroon and by the virtue of the power conferred on us, we are here today to open this hall for better world. We're working towards Bafood 2020 equivalent. And this get-together get of the traditional leaders, the electric leaders, and the community at this site and at this celebration of ecological building and eco-village design is really going to be very fertile to make this all possible. Especially in Bafood, special thanks goes to Ambassador, the Ambassador of Better World in Africa, by name Joshua. Joshua, we say we thank you, we thank you, we say we love you, we love you. Special thanks goes to a matron for the work that has been done so far. Looking at the platform, it's all about permaculture. The exercise was carried out by the Echo Builders women. Thanks to the talent God has given to our method by name Hello. LK. We say we thank you, we thank you. We say we thank you, we thank you. Permaculture. What is permaculture? Permaculture is being friendly with our environment and nature. Permaculture applies the various methods of farming, which is long lasting term of cultivation. It is sustainable and has extra value added. Permaculture discourages the idea of bush burning, such as ankari and fertilizer, because it destroys the bacteria that live in the soil to make it to be permanently fertile. Permaculture encourages us to use organic manure so as to preserve our environment for us and the future generations. We say we thank you, we thank you, we say we thank you, we thank you. Thank you.